Unakule gulo minister wa guna unakuli minister wa hivyo nsimbi henu msasizi ya tegeza kachiko nge kichongoli cha government ikivuna inzwa kusigi nsimbi Eza government ichi Uganda Development Corporation Bochale meru kolo kuno nyelezo kumala kumigabo government ya galo gula mkampuni ya roko kubombi ubiri mmosamvu Katidele kichongoli chinu nga chikuli duwa msenkulu wacho Dr. Patrick Birunji Kila pisekele ya kachukano hakebi nsimbi ya kali mkweke nenyo kusaba kuno Na tegeza nti kuno nyeleza kubako la kuali kwa chita muruja Ulubula li hivyo nsimbi choka chali chile wana yonka tiroko vye siwa vikutuka now, we didn't do a, a complete valuation or a thorough due diligence because that's what we are supposed to procure for. But our quick assessment was, if you know the result of the kind of work you are going to do, then why do it in any case? Wabula onategeza kachiko nti roko elimu katia waga kebi mfuna. Yate chandi wa decha makulu government kujisa amu nsimbi na dalangi emiga wa jiaga lo kugula. Tejua government ibu wa nanyi ni mroko nga mkogelo kwa angu. Nsimbi zino roko elinga ze yeworo uwe wazi. Um, of course, preference shares is another form of debt. It's a debt-like instrument. So it was a, a bit difficult for us at the time to recommend that we even continue. We even wrote to finance, we asked them for the money to do the, valu uh, the valuation. It didn't come, but even if it had uh, come, we would have written still to inform them that our quick assessment shows that this project would be, um, would not give us any good result. When he says, I don't need to waste time even checking this patient, that's saying that the, the the company is as good as dead. Today is telling us about preference shares, ordinary shares, check creditors, something you should have done. Wabula, unachimaze ika babaka, buwateke zeza, nti uroku wa roko. Kampuni ya Uganda, emaze kune miaka jisuwa muatano. Nganeba na Uganda banji, bajifunye mwe mirimu. Ensimbi zino singa zinajiwewa, Uganda inzo kufuna mu. Would, would I be right that without evaluation, without an assessment to establish all of this, I would not recommend the money to be injected because I don't know the level of the debt. And you really are sounding like fairly shabby, fairly, by your level standards. To come to a committee of finance, you are speaking for, at one time, that you are part of a meeting that made these decisions and the preferred funding options. At the same time, you are here saying, I need a certain level of comfort after an audit. So what comfort did you get to recommend to recommend this option? So because all investment assessment criteria will most likely not be passed. And therefore the need to stabilize this patient is critical. And uh, that is my argument. And Honorable Chair, we were invited to give our opinion and we have given our opinion ono oh, akachukua mtadi kuninga awo kuwabula wawacha ndibadi cha nsonga UDC SOK ekolo kuno nyeleza okutufu obe migabo jino government inejifunamu doctor imagine we are a like we are who have a, the ultimate final call and listening to yourself what would you recommend won't us be right for us to say now let us give you money okay Go and do a quick audit. Come back here with a preferred funding option. Yuda Msisi, BBS Telefina, Agesi Gika. Wabadewo enkalu mu parliament ye Gwanga, Minister Wetaka, enyumba.